hello and welcome to game guys side tutorials today i'll be showing you how to create a motion tween using adobe flash cs3 professional okay and i will just show you a quick clip of what we will be creating today so first the first layer will scroll in from the top and the second layer will rotate into the canvas in a clockwise direction okay and now we'll get started so once Adobe Flash is open in the center of your screen you should see create new and below that you should see flash file action script 3.0 or action script 2.0 I'll use 3.0 for this demonstration alright now as you can see my canvas is white and the background behind the canvas tends to blend in with the canvas so I can't really see it so on the first layer if you press V as a shortcut or select the black cursor on the toolbar on the left hand side and just click on your canvas the properties tab should open and you have a background selection I will choose a dark grey okay now as you can see I do not have a clear view of my canvas I have to scroll up and down to view all sides so below your timeline you should see a percentage and I'll insert 80 percent instead of 100 there you can see I have a clear view now okay layer 1 is your canvas so your background so just double click on that layer and rename background now below your layers you should see four icons the first layer if you move your cursor over it it will say insert layer click that once and you'll get a new layer now again double click on this layer and it will allow you to rename it so I'll rename that text one now on the layer text one on the first frame just highlight that and press T for a quick selection now for this text I'll use Arial font white text and size 31 so now I'll insert my text okay we'll just edit that all right now as you've seen on the video before the text scrolled in from the top okay now I want this to scroll in again so I'll just place that above the canvas so it doesn't actually show and in your timeline you have frames your frames per second you can find this out by if you click on your background layer press V for selection tool which is the black cursor in the toolbar click on your canvas and to the right of your background selection you will see frame rate mine is currently 12 and I'll change this to 10 frames per second this means every 10 frames in your timeline is one second okay so for text one layer which is my second layer I will click on the 20th frame right click and insert keyframe okay now I'll drag my text down to where I want it to finish off so it will scroll down to this position now as you can see when I press enter it instantly appears in that position okay now anywhere within the second and the 18th frame of this timeline just right click and create motion tween at the top now as you can see it scrolls down from the top into the canvas All right. 
Now again we'll insert a new layer from the four icons below your layers. Again double click on this layer and rename it. Text 2. Now when you create a new layer it automatically creates the same amount of frames that you recently had on the frame before. So as you can see I have 20 keyframes on both layers. So I'll just highlight 19 of those frames, right click and remove. Okay, so leave the first frame and this should have a, a hollow circle at the bottom of it. Okay, so again, highlight the first frame, press T for quick selection and insert your text. edit the checkbox size alright now as you've seen in the video this text scrolled in with a clockwise rotation so I just place this at the bottom which is started in the video now if we insert a keyframe and finish the video off here and create motion tween you will see that both texts move at the same time so they both start at the same time and they both finish you don't want that so just remove tween and we'll use this as a space or bracket so now on the 40 frame on your text to layer insert keyframe and now on the 40th frame just drag your layer up to where you want it to finish off so I just place it there now anywhere between 21st and the 38th frame right click and create another motion twin now as you can see text 1 will disappear after the 20th frame I'll just play the video so there you can see one starts after another but text one layer disappears now how do you stop that? as you can see no frames exist after the 20th frame so click on the 40th frame on text 1 layer right click and insert frame alright now when I press enter they both stay alright now I said I was going to use a clockwise rotation on the Adobe Flash Motion Twin tutorial text which is text 2 layer anywhere within the arrow which is the motion twin if you just click on any of the frames the properties tab shall open tween is motion and rotate is clockwise so when I press enter it rotates clockwise into the screen ok thank you for watching game guys side tutorials I hope this helped you and enjoy